Hi, this is Bruce with a brief tutorial on the Garmin GTX 330 transponder. You'll find this in the uh, Milvis Beaver DHC2, the Otter DHC3, and the Turbo version. And for those few that might be interested, I thought I would just run over briefly how this operates. It's in the off condition at the moment. Pressing standby on or alt will turn it on. So we'll just try standby first. In the standby uh, mode, it will not respond to ADC inquiries. If we click on, it does respond to location. If we click Alt, it'll also add additionally the altitude that we're at. If you want to change the squawk code, the minute you start pressing any of these buttons, it, 1 through 7, 0 through 7, it will start to transform this, and by the fourth one, it's done. So let's just try 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's done. But let's say, for instance, I was going um, 0, 1, uh, 5, and I go, oop, I, I didn't want 5. Just hit CLR clear, it'll go back. Now we can hit 2 and 3 for instance. If it's on standby, these numbers jump back and it's not easy to change them. Uh, it just turns into a big mess. So leaving it on or on alt will allow us to change them as we see fit. So that's how that works. VFR jumps right to the VFR squat code. IDENT identifies us at the ATC's request for about 18 seconds on their screens, highlights it so they can find us more readily. So now let's look at what's over here. Um, just a few things to note. Just looking through this, you've got your pressure altitude and for that to work you've got to have the ALT on, which we do. And uh, then the flight time, here we'll just click through these. There's our flight time. We can clear that, start at zero. What this does is when the wheels leave the ground it should automatically start. It won't do anything if you press the start stop uh, soft key here. So on takeoff that should start automatically. Click the next one. We have the altitude monitor. You want to do that when you've reached your destination altitude or your final altitude rather. Uh, then you can watch for deviations and you can activate or deactivate it with the start and stop uh, soft key here. Then we have uh, outside air temperature and then also we have the density altitude here, which takes into account the temperatures and gives you the equivalent, like on a hot day, it looks like you're at a higher altitude. That's what that would be telling you. Uh, outside air temperature, density, altitude. Another function is counting up. You can start and away it goes and stop. And then you can clear it with the clear key. And then you can also um, count down. So what we can do then is you can go to the next function, hit cursor, and we'll just type in maybe one hour or ten hours <laughs> really make it big uh, 43 minutes and no seconds start and there it's going to start counting down so that's how that works just by pressing the cursor button you can enter the number you want then again we'll just press the function key and we're back to the pressure altitude again so that's it that's all there is to it as far as I know of um, hope that's been a help there are options more readily available on the real one but uh, these are handy. So thanks so much for watching. Any comments are appreciated. Have fun.